This video, I will be wiring up a Northern Electric KSU. I will discuss some of the features of this KSU as I proceed in making it functional. This is the back plate that has the 66 blocks wired on it. And then there is a harness that goes over to the slots where the KTUs plug in. I have two 100 pair cables in here, as well as two 6 pair cables for the dial tone to go into the KSU. Depending on how this KSU is equipped with the line cards, uh, would determine how many dial tone lines that is available in it. This is the rear of the cast aluminum modules. It has seven KTU slots on each of the two modules for a total of 14 slots. I have taped up the end of the 100 pair cable after I removed the outside jacket off of it. This prevents the binder groups from falling apart. I will cut the tape off and then pull out each of the four binder groups and I will mark them. There's four groups of 25, so one group of 25 will have some blue tape or plastic around it. There'll be an orange group, which is the second 25 pair. The green is the third 25 pair. And of course, the brown is the fourth 25 pair. I have taped each of the binder groups, the blue, orange, green, and brown, on both of the 100 pair cables so that in the future I can easily identify which 25 pairs goes to a phone. The very top of the 66 block, where you see the white and the blue wire, that is the CL line going into the KSU. So the three pins on the left is the tip, the three pins on the right of the block is the ring. Below that is your standard tip ring AA1LGL that goes to the phone. Here's the back of the KSU after I've wired up the two 100 pair cables. Each of these cables has the ability to have four, six, or ten button phones plugged into the end of them. At this point, they're all six button key sets. This KSU was equipped with a 19 station rotary dial intercom that I have wired up. This is the rear of the swing gate that has the KTU slots, which are um, a cast aluminum frame. And I will show the front momentarily. We have the power supply on the top of the swing gate. The cast aluminum frame that we're looking at has seven KTU slots. There are four QUN 10 line cards. Those are an exact replacement for a 400 type line card. An ITT Western Stromberg AE cards would work in this system perfectly fine. The two cards on the lower right hand side is part of the intercom and the card that is horizontal on the top is the third card to make up the 19 station rotary only intercom. Here is the second unit of seven KTU slots. The first four line cards are QU10s. The other two cards that's on the right hand side will be removed and other private line type circuit cards plugged into their spot. Top units are the power supplies. The small unit over on the left side is the ringing generator. I have several Northern Electric six button sets wired up to the Northern Electric KSU. The Northern Electric KSU could be a 14 line unit. However, 
with the intercom cards and some other special service cards to be added to it, I have made two groups of telephones with four lines for each group. So I will have uh, eight phones connected to that system. Most of the phones are all rotary dial. And if you notice on some of these telephones, the operator number, or zero I should say, does not necessarily have the word spelled out on every single one of the dial phones. These telephones were used in Canada in both the English speaking and the French speaking part of the country. The French speaking part would not have operator spelled out. Here's a 2564 and because it's a touchtone phone this one did not have the intercom wired to it because the intercom is a rotary only intercom. However, it does have the first four lines. This is a Northern Electric 6040 key strip. It will also be connected to the Northern Electric KSU.